day number two for the 2023 Premier Volleyball League second All-Filipino Conference. We already had three teams, or make that six teams, debut last Sunday. We had two more earlier today. Cherry Tigo winning over Farm Fresh in three sets. That was match number four for the conference. Now it is on to matches five and six. Later on, we will close with the Petrogas Angels and our new team, the Galleries Tower High Risers. But first, before that, we have a great matchup between the F2 Logistics car Cargo Movers and the Akari Chargers. That is match number five for the All Filipino Conference. Welcome to our live and exclusive coverage on One Sports and, of course, in high definition on One Sports Plus. And for our volleyball fanatics all over the world who are watching on Pilipinas Live. Franny Reyes is our insider for today. She will give us a lot of great stories, but so will Jamie La Vitoria. My name is Boom Gonzalez, and we're happy to have you with us for this broadcast. Let's start with you, Jamie. A much anticipated matchup for many reasons, this F2 and the Kari Chargers. That's right. I mean, these two teams are aiming for their first win today, so it's going to be an exciting match. And after the win earlier by Cherry Tigo, that was a promising match of going to four sets, but Farm Fresh could not hold on to their four-point lead. Cherry taking over in that third set. They get their first win in our first game. That's right. You see the standings there, and the teams that prevailed past Sunday was next, next led, Cream Line and Signal. And to remind everyone, this is a single round robin and the top four teams will advance to the semifinals. And what we like about this uh, tournament format, as we have been saying since Sunday, that the PVL is bigger and better. And all of these teams are going to meet each other yep. at least once here in the All-Filipino Conference. One of the things that we like to see, of course, is new additions or transferees, movements. We will get to that in a bit, but I want you, Jamie, to tell me how are F2 looking coming into this All-Filipino Conference, especially because they are moving up in terms of, you know, winning from conference to conference? That's right. I mean, the F2 Logistics had a strong start during their first All-Filipino Conference under coach Reg Diego, defeating PLDT for the bronze or battle, uh, battle for bronze. Now, in the Invitational Conference, they faced signal and resulted in getting fourth place. Yeah, that bronze that uh, Jamie was talking about, that 6-2 record that you saw flash on your screens earlier under coach Regine Diego, that is their best finish in the PVL so far. So they want to move even higher. They've got some key additions. There's some bad news also, but who are the holdovers who are going to take over this team? I mean, you have the familiar names right there, the key holdovers. I mean, these, the, this is the core of the F2 logistics, and this is the key for the success of F2. But keep in mind, Kiana D is injured, but as per report, we await for her comeback. That's right. We uh, might see her still within the All-Filipino Conference. Buti na lang mahaba yung All-Filipino <laughs> yep. Conference natin. There's a lot of chances for her to return. Right now, she's in kind of uh, half uniform, half civvies, taking, taking, taking pictures, uh, <laughs> acting as photographer. But that is a solid team that you're looking at that just got taller with Joy Dacoron and Ethan Arce. And of course, now the third conference for that girl. Ivy Luxina, who's going to play an even bigger role. Yeah, you see, sabi natin now, photographer KKD, the fourth best scorer, by the way, from the previous Invitational Conference. So that is a big loss, uh, so far at least. Hindi natin alam kung gano katagal, but so far that will be a big loss for F2. Now they're going up against the Akari Chargers, who feel good about themselves this uh, conference. Jamie, they have trimmed down, and no, I'm not talking about them looking physically but the team <laughs> as as well but of course they do look good yep. they look like they're Very conditioned muscular. for this uh yeah 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 so tell us uh what are your thoughts now on uh akari and how they've been in the past conferences because it's been a tough road for them yep in the past conference the chargers have been trying to get their groove i mean they added faith and despair to the mix but trailed behind to the 10th place so let's see if akari can start with a bang against f2 and aim for that first win and you saw one three is what they're coming out of the invitational uh final or conference first uh, they were off two and six and then one and three it has been a struggle for them even with their additions but speaking of additions let's look at that kind of like that report card on who have they lost and who have they added? Now, I did say they have trimmed down. They have gone to 
the, the next led yep. uh, team. <laughs> sister team. The sister yep. team. Uh, and so they have lost a lot, but they also have gained some uh, key, key champions from the UAAP. I mean, you have Justine, Hazareno, and Fifi Sharma. I mean, they probably have been waiting for this day to come. And, you know, the key hold order, uh, holdovers there, Trisha Genesis, Cobb, Ragas, Manapat and Soyud and Bank Paneda, this can possibly bring Akari to the next level. And this is what they want, uh, starting from this all Filipino conference. Them and for F2, they want to improve on their bronze medal uh, get and haul from the Invitational. And speaking of which, I know Franny Reyes will share some stories on uh, both Akari and F2 and their intentions from this point forward, Franny. I like what you said, Jamie, about Akari having this team that will take them to the next level. And actually, coming from their dugout, they have a lighter aura. They're feeling confident. And their captain, Mitch Cobb, told me that she believes that this team that they have is what they will build the foundation of Akari upon. And they're confident that they will be playing well today. Now over on the F2 side of things, I got to co talk to coach Reg Diego and she told me that for this conference, it's all about stepping up, not just because Kiana won't be playing yet, but because she believes that all her players are capable of surprising us. She didn't want to tell me who surprised her in practice, so abangan na lang yan. And speaking of players who don't actually surprise us because of how talented she is on the court, we have a big question for none other than Don Makandili Katindig. Let's watch this. Hi, this is Don Makandili from the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers, and this is the big question. Yes. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> box. Are you afraid that F2's chances for a championship is nearing its end? Okay, yung question na to medyo tagus siya sa akin, kasi um, coming from a champion team in college, medyo mataas yung momentum ng team. And then, uh, in the recent years, medyo bumaba yung momentum namin. So, siguro nandun kami ngayon, we're in a rut, and we're trying to figure out, together, syempre, kung paano ba namin mababalik yung glory dun sa team namin. And for sure, there's always that hope um, to finish on top. That hope you always bring to training, uh, that sparks your joy in playing. So, laging may hope para talagang hindi ka titigil lumaban hanggat sa last mong laro. It's important because we want to prove to ourselves that we're not working hard for nothing. Parang we just want to give back yung pinaghirapan namin para sa isa -tisa. It's all about hope for the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. And I did get to speak to Dawn, and she's eager to show us the eagerness of the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers in this conference. Now, we won't be seeing her play in today's game, but she told me that F2 has a couple of tricks up their sleeve. Now, of course, we love engaging our fans here in the PBL, and you can join in on the conversation by voting on our Filipinas Live app. Poll. And our question for today's game is which veteran will lead her team to victory? Will it be Myla Pablo or will it be Dindin Santiago Manabat? What do you guys think? And Jamie, what do you think? Ooh, former NU Lady Bulldog. Putting the pressure on me, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's their first match of this conference, so I think it's still too early to answer. I'll just play it safe with that answer, but I'm sure they could bring a lot to the team. Like I said, they are both veterans, so I'm sure they'll get the job done. Well, F2 has a lot of tricks, Franny's got a lot of stories, and we got a lot of volleyball to watch and to play. And all you have to do is check us out here on Filipinas Live, One Sports, of course, and One Sports Plus. That is our hashtag on your screens, hashtag PBL2020. When we come back, it is the fifth match of day number two of our PBL All Filipino Conference. It is the Akari Chargers and the F2 Cargo Logistics Movers.
for this match, our first referee, Bobby Celso, national referee. Second referee is Ryan Vincent Corpus, national referee. And now the starters, first for the F2 Logistics, Cargo Movers. Middle blocker from De La Salle University, number two, team captain, Abby Marano. Opposite hitter from the National University, number three, Ivy Laxina. Outside striker from La Salle, number four, Ara Gala. Outside striker from NU, number six, Myla Pablo. Center from La Salle, number nine, Kim Fajardo. Middle blocker from Anderson University, number 16, Joy Dacoron. Starting liberal from La Salle, number 12, CJ Saga Wu. And coach for F2 Logistics is Richie Diego. And now the starters for the Akari Chargers. Outside Spiker from Adamson University, number two, Trisha Genesis. Center from the Ateneo de Manila University, number eight, Chacha Maraguino. Middle blocker from the Far Eastern University, number 10, Ezra Madrigal. Middle blocker from De La Salle University, number 14, Fifi Sharma. Opposite hitter from the National University, number 16, Dindin Santiago Magnabat. Outside Spiker from Ateneo, number 17, Faith Nisperos. Starting Libero from Adamson, number one, Bang Pinada. Head coach for Akari is Jorge Sousa de Brito. This game is held under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. It is F2 Logistics versus Akari. This is the PBL, the heart. Oh, We're inside the Smart Ananeta Coliseum. The starter is for the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Joy Dacaron, the new addition, right in the middle, right in the mix. Right away, CJ Wu will be the one replacing Dawn uh, Makandili Katindig. Uh, she is out for this game. As you look at the Akari Chargers this time, finally. The debut of Fifi Sharma, when we say final, finally, because uh, when we talked about this, Jamie, last night when you were on the show called The Game, uh, we've been seeing her around since the Invitational. There were rumors that she would probably try to make it to the Invitational at some point, but that did not happen. And now we're going to see her when she comes back on rotation. As Pat Pineda will start in her place as the Libero. As I told you also last night. <laughs> we're joking with Pat Pineda if she was coming back as, a, as an open spiker at uh, this conference because of uh, the addition of Justine Hazareno. For those who don't know, well, research how, <laughs> how good Bang Pineda was as an open spiker. And we're on for match number five here in the All Filipino Conference. And Santiago Manapan is going for this match. You know, there's been a lot of talk about who will be the first six of Akari. And Let's see if Coach George's mix will be the mix that is needed for them to get their first win. You know, some teams trim down, and and it happens in a lot of sports. That's when you get to target really, not necessarily who's better, but who fits, who fits a certain system, right? So let's see if that's what's going to happen to Akari, who have uh, had a tough tough uh, last couple of conferences in terms of trying to get a win, but they did get a big win against F2 uh, before, so a couple of conferences ago. Gepardo. Tata sends it to Dindin. CJ will bump it to Pablo, goes over the blockers. Maraginot. Esperos. I think her takeoff was a bit off, but she got the benefit of the fingers of uh, the net defenders of F2, as now Fifi Sharma gets into the action. Oh, wow, yeah, Manabat and Sharma there at the end. It's all lined up in the front. And, uh, you know, I have to say, I'm not used to seeing Fifi Sharma in this color. <laughs> Well, I have gotten used to it already because we see her always in jackets, in the Akari jackets, during okay, the international, yeah. right? What we are not used to is her going
going up against some former schoolmates. Magdalena oh, Janina, oh. of course, and uh, the others there. All right, let's get uh, back to more stories from Franny Reyes at courtside. Franny? Thanks, Boom. Now, the theme for today's game is actually excitement, and that's something that uh, UAAP champion turned rookie pro Fifi Sharma shared with me. She told me that she's so excited to explore her skills more as a pro athlete now that she's playing for the Akari Chargers. She told me that this is an opportunity for her to be more flexible, to try out new things because she's not as afraid of making mistakes. Now over on the F2 side of things, Joy Dakaron told me that for her, this is a dream come true. It's a no excuses type of feeling to not be left behind because she's always prepared and she's been waiting for this second chance at her volleyball career. Now, thank you for all of our fans watching and you can stream the games on the Filipinas Live app. Download it now. Back to the panel. Thank you very much, Franny. Well, looking forward to, to her. She took the talking about Fifi Sharma, of course, taking the social media by storm when she made the announcement. Santiago Manabat burns one there. Justin Hazareno with the reception. It's a perfect set by Jaja Maraguino. That reverse set. And there was an open space. The block was late for F2. That is why she went down the line. Some former Lady Bulldogs, former De La Salle Spikers. Former Adamson soaring Falcons, all in the mix. Some Ateneo, former Ateneo Eagles, of course. Aragala in the mix also here for F2. And I was telling Jamie during the pregame when we were off the air, I like how she looks right now. And I'm not talking about the hair. And the hair is fabulous, by the yep. way. But I like how her frame seems to have a little more meat now. And she seems like stronger ready to go. and ready, ready to go. go. You, you, you did say, but she looked fit, physically fit for this conference. It's good news because a lot of Aragala fa Galang fans are waiting for her to make an impact for F2. Right now we are at 5-4-4. We'll be serving five. CJ out, out of system, so a chance ball, a high one for Akari. They reverse it to Din Din. Nobody blocking. Uh, somebody touching. Uh, somebody over the uh, attack line, that's right. Myla Pablo stepping in front of the 10-foot line before she goes for that approach. Not as easy as it looks on TV, right, Jamie? When there. you're, yeah, when left you're, foot. When you're already executing that, you're looking up all the time. That is just thousands of repetitions of doing it in practice. That's yeah, so a falls in. Good serve. Trisha Genesis. Former Falcon, different generation from Bang, of course. But if you didn't know volleyball and you look at both of them, you think they're batchmates. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's a compliment for the Bang. Come yeah. on. Bang still looks still the fit. same. Still fit. He looks like she's in college still. Look at that. Hey. Miscaros, cross court. And a point for Akari. 7 5, two point lead. And I have to talk about the sequence here on Akari. You see Bang going for that down the line, and that's a different defensive pattern that they have here. Usually Bang goes cross court, but she was there down the line. Maybe that's something new that they added. Trisha again to CJ. Bump set to Ivy, rolls it to the other side. Bang, the secondary setter to Faith, who had to adjust. Kim, Kalang. Ja reverses to Din Din. It's a beautiful set. 8-5, Akari. And Jaja Santiago doing what she does best, that reverse set. Jaja looks fit too, she Jamie. Looks fit as well. I, mean, you I love it. I love months. seeing, yeah. I love seeing all these players really come into their form, their physical form, going into the tournament. That sails out for Trisha. Three point. Given away to F2. Early excitement here in this uh, in this match. I was excited to do this game when I found out about the assignment. I'm like, okay. A great match. Very interesting, right? There's a, there's a lot of like subplots also and side stories. 
And uh, looking at Akari right now, they look more composed as usual. You know, in the so team, far, you know? you're right. So far, they would look frantic almost. So far, it's Vivi Sharma, who always reacts like it's a fifth <laughs> set already. Gets her first point as a professional. With that running attack, just tipping in between the block. Nine serving six. Madrigal and Esperos in front. That's short. Fifi, of course, in Hazareno, who now walks in here, fresh off uh, a LaSalle Championship, too, from the UAAP. Madrigal, person who knows a, bit, a thing or two about winning championships. KKD, Joe Fernandez right behind them also. The other acquisition, that one will drop out. I think we're gonna have a, a challenge. challenge. Ezra was sure that it was, that her job was inside. I thought it was in too, but hey, there's only one way to find out. That is what we do for the challenge system here. Again, for those joining us for the very first time, there's no time on the board. Do it on the 13th point. And to add to that, during the challenge, it kind of acts as a timeout. A little bit of a timeout, yeah. Sometimes some coaches will use that as a ploy to stop a momentum. I saw that yesterday, uh, Sunday, yep. in the Choco Mucho green line match. <laughs> Let's see if it bounces. Ooh, in the meters out. Very close. Yeah. <laughs> So now the lead is down to one. As Galang will continue to serve. This receive, Jaja with the left hand. The scramble, Pablo. Ja. The Spanos in the middle. Oh, what an ad lib by Paraginos. Going for that combination play. This first set. No block was found on the side of F2. Great swing by Faith. I also want to see, you know, how Faith will do now in this uh, this conference after she got a full already experience. Yeah, with the... And oh, that drops in again! <laughs> the same spot! Genesis, and most of their serves have been. Oh, long look at ball. that drop! Yeah, look at that long drop! Ball. Yeah, it just there, it just drops right. on the last second. Parang Jamie La Victoria lang Come on, just just take it. Thank you, thank you. Myla against three bloggers gets the point. You see with. Triple block for Myla Pablo. They're very ready to defend her. I mean, we have not seen this yet from Akari, but knowing what Myla does and what can, what she can do, she's just checking it out on their hands. Abby Marano, we haven't even talked about her yet. It's been a little silent, this yeah. said. Hard to say the word silent, silent. with her name. In one <laughs> sentence. Yeah. Let it go, let it go, let it go. F2. Maxina goes over the blockers. Jaja gets the signal from Faith. Oh, that's still alive. That's still good. 11-9 is our score. Oh, great coverage there. Jaja saw that coming. Din Din Santiago Manaba puts it away. And the reaction from Jorge. That was a great sequence between both teams. Oh, I wish we got that on cam. Let's see if we got the reaction oh from Jorge. It's like a winning point, wasn't it, Jamie? <laughs> Champion point. Oh, what a pinball there. And then this was the winning attack. Cross court attack by uh, Manapad. No, we, didn't. we didn't get it. We didn't get it. Trust us na lang. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Just believe na lang us. Sabi ni Jamie. That one, off to the right. That's actually the third time that this has happened for Akari. You know, you gain momentum from such a 
great attack, and then it's followed by an unforced error. You kill your own momentum. Yep. And a service error. It just makes you weak, right? That's going to sail out. Good judgment by Justine Nazareno. Who just like, I'll talk about that later. Because right now, it's her first technical timeout of the match. The bench. You miss seeing her on the bench. F2, court. yes, of course. Number four scorer of the Invitational, just behind, you know, guys like Ces Molina and uh, um, Cici Rondina, of course, who was number one. In the meantime, Sorry, I hit 13, 10. Ezra Matigal will get us going for this rally. Kim, picked up by Faith, reverse to Dindin. Nice chop there by Jaja, but they give away a free ball to the yellow shirts of F2. Pablo drops it. Oh, too low, too low for Faith. They had it, Ezra with that one-hand dig. And yeah. I'm looking at both teams, the defense is stabilized compared to the Invitational Conference. I mean, defense, the defense of your team will really win games. Pablo. Justin takes that one. Tintin on the other side, on top of the blockers. Myla. Gets the uh, spike off the block. It's an Ivy. Get the point. So F2 now with a 2 0 quick run. Oh, perfect pass there. Perfect. Oh, wow, what a dig by CJ. Another one from Justin. Asareno will set it to Dindin. Dindin likes the set. Oh, but Tamoron and He's stabilized, blocking on the side of F2. Stuff blocked by Joy Dakaron on Tintin Manabat. To the delight of that bench of F2, which includes Majoy Baron. Kari has been stuck at 13. Can they get a counter? Manabat goes over the block. Good defense by Kim. That's in! 4-0 run by F2. Myla 
Pablo with that statement attack, back row attack rather. I mean, the consistency of her during this first set. Now, Akari needs to make some adjustments. They, Like you said, Boom, they have been stuck. They are in a red right now, so I think we need to see more middle attacks by Fifi Sharma. But it's sent back. 5-0 run. And now Lexina, uh, the Invitational Conference, she was open spiker. And now she is yeah. opposite, so I mean, versatile player. From middle to <laughs> right to uh, next conference open center, to, right? <laughs> Opposite. The defensive F2 has really stepped up here. Oh, that's smart. smart. That's that move. They're really maximizing on their blocking. That breaks F2. the run. That finally breaks the run. 5 0 before that one. The rebound. Smart move. Four new teammates, Pablo and Manabat. Good serve. Great serve by Dindin. A couple of points coming from her. Look at that again. Look at how sharp the serve Jamie is. Another service ace. Same spot, zone one. Dead, dead ball. Another so, great serve. And she's wow. loading up on, uh, they want to load up on Pablo. CJ got that one. Genesis on the cross. So they come up with three straight points of their own 16-15 as we go to Franny Reyes. We've got another UAAC champion turned rookie pro in the Akari Chargers in Justine Hazareno. She made her debut today. And she actually told me that her idol is definitely Don Makandili Katindig. Although they're not playing against each other right now, may naibaon siyang advice from Don. Of course, they both come from the school of coach Ramil De Jesus. And she looks to be, or she hopes to be, a very stable libero for the Akari Chargers. Back to you, Boom. Here's another thing. The two liberos... If I may add out Franny's two liberos of Akari were really original open spikers. Yes. Justine Hazareno in high school, <laughs> she was an, an MVP in the finals as an open spiker before Coach Ramil wow. turned her into an incredible libero. As Fifi Sharma, her partner in crime, scores the 17th point for Akari there. We're in a battle here, Jamie. Great timing on the block by Fifi, and let's not forget the reaction. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the package. That's yep. why you hire her. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the emotion. Yes. Otto with the attack earlier this time. Spero sends it cross court. Ivy stips it. Still alive, Faith again. Ivy again. Denied. They were finally able to get a stuffed block on Luxina. I mean, this is the time to make those in-game adjustments. You know, I, I, we may like laugh or chuckle about the whole emotion thing, but maybe. Other than the things that they needed to adjust, of course, in the offseason, but maybe that's what Akari also needed, right? Somebody who would Some show player. Them. Yeah, yeah. Pizarre. Right, right. That's Maranyo. Speaking of emotion, the OG. I mean, I think that is her first point. Yes. This first set, yeah. of course, with her classic running attack. And a classic reaction. She yep. started it all. She's the OG. Yeah, she's OG. With those championship point reactions. Goes to Faith. It's good set, but good anticipation defense by F2. That's too high for a rolling ball. Back to Faith. Kim, look at that set. Joust. Ara again. Cross court. Ooh, classic Ara Gana. Oh, you've been waiting for that. That's you've a been second. Waiting. A for that. Major attack today. See, you see though what I was saying that she looks like she's physically back. 
her strength is there. You're it's getting the there. Arena. Oh, ayan, yung kanyang cut shot on lakas. It's not just like a, you know, a, a tapik lang na cut. There's some force behind Good for the Aragalang fans. And there are a ton of them. <laughs> Including that girl who's serving, by the way, who's, who idolized Aragalang uh, growing up. Mga kapampangan, both uh, from Pampanga. That one's a little over though, but you see the idea. Yep. Yeah. And Genesis was actually not there. They need to know that Aragalan goes to that cross court attack. They haven't seen it in a long time, that's why. They're not ready. They're not yeah. ready. Wait till she busts out the uh, down the line. Facing that's cross court. Yeah. <laughs> and then down the line attack. We haven't seen that today yet. We got a good one here, Jamie, 1918. Seesaw so battle between both teams. It's really hard to gauge at this time. Sharma. Running attack, single coverage. Ooh, that's a tough set. Oof. Great pick up there by CJ. Ara again. Almost. She was going. She was going. She can hear us. She can hear us. She was going for it. <laughs> she was going for it. Face cross. Angle the arm and the wrist down the line. Gonna get there. Gonna get there. Oh, she gets the point off the blockers. 19 all first set. Look at that. Nice serve. Good serve. Faith gets it back. Nobody covering Abby and Abby with the reaction and the point. Not always about power, but placement. Going for that down the line. And I meant the one point and also the point at the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Points at it. Look at it. There yep, it's go. inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's so classic. It's the best. It's so classic. Combination play. Oh, what an angle by Faith. Faith despairs with that sharp cross court attack. And she has been struggling actually in this first set. She can't seem to get her, her groove, but I mean, with that cross court attack, avoiding the hands of the blocker. 20 all. First set is up for grabs here at the Araneta Coliseum. Nice serve. Fajardo had to bump it. Genesis keeps it in play. Oh, bad pass to Faith. The pass to Myla, rejected. Kim goes for it. Pineda was there though. Back set, Din Din. Coverage, joust. Oh, great reaction by Madrigal. Pablo, rebound, dig. Disperos is denied. What a sequence. The defense, I've been talking about this in this first set has been very stable for both squads. You know, there are some plays, Jamie, that may be like a turning point in the set. That was the 21st that point. That may be it. We'll see. We'll see. That was like an impact play. That was a crucial exchange. Oh, they get a chance to counter. Ivy. Could be going for that zone five. That down the line. Akari needs to make some adjustments in terms of their defensive pattern. Great set by Kaf. Great swing. We're gonna call a timeout. They need this one. That 21st point, Jamie. Baka balikan natin yan. 22-20 right now. She drops, I can go. You know, you always do that. So we don't need to move far because she has a lot of space to do. Huh? Hey. For transition, remember? Not fast. Higher so she has time to come, take potent, potent, huh? and she can do whatever she wants, but higher. Even short, high, okay? Not comfortable, go long, trust the block, huh? Okay. Side out one only, we are there again. We are there again. Hey, for this position, how you change, okay? Okay. Akari has battled toe to toe. Even had a three point lead at one point. 
Now they're behind by two. And that 21st point, that rally made a uh, difference here in this first set. Abby Baranya serving. Shot reverses to Faith. Great reaction by both teams. Trisha from behind. Oh, she was way underneath that ball. And a 4-0 run. Let me check. 3-0 run by F2. 23-20. That was crucial. You're giving F2 that momentum that they've been wanting to get. I think it was from that... that Keep too soon. <laughs> keeping, keeping a window open for Akari here on a comeback. But the defense of F2 has stepped up also. But Eugene, not used to a casual jacket look today. Love in the vibe. <laughs> well, we love it nevertheless, but we're not used to it. We're using a coat today. Huh? It's too early, pa. I'm gonna back in a month. Maaba daw yung ano? Maaba daw yung friends. Two weeks, pa. <laughs> CJ easily with a pass. Bet moves. Classic vintage cap. When you least expect it. And at the most crucial. And that is actually Faith Miss Farrow. She knew that she was serving and not ready for that. Because Bang is in the back. Yeah. Set point. Out of system. What a dive by Ara. And F2 with a 5-1 run to end the first set. And that 21st point for that long exchange, that was the turning point. Great swing by Laxina, cross court. Great deep. Number five, match number five on day two in the BBL second All Filipino Conference of 2023. And a 5-1 run to finish off uh, Akari in that first set. And this is where Akari, this is the learning process now that they've been going through in you know two conferences. How to first battle with the big guns and then how to like stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and then how to finish them off. And right now. They still haven't gotten to that last four part. And to add to that boom, I mean, this is where they need to apply all the learnings like you just said. So I think in this second set, it's important that Akari maintains that defense, but at the same time, a lot of their attack points are, a lot of their attacks rather, are not being converted into points. You see 
the disparity here with 13 attacks and on a F2 and only nine from Akari. Three aces though on the side of Akari. We saw some good serves in zone one. Yeah. So F2, they need to work. <laughs> then we finish it off after. So here we go, set number two. And an out of system play right away just because of that loaded Kim Fajardo serve. Asareno. Esperos from behind. Ooh, great slide by CJ. CJ's been playing so well for F2 here in the absence of Don Makandili Katinde. They still have another Libero waiting in the wings. Marian Andal, one of their uh, one of the best from the NCAA. Madrigal. 1-0. Oh, you saw that coming. Oh, boy. Baon na baon. Good to again. Laxina approaching from the left pin. Goes to the middle and puts it away. I mean, DP Sharma did not read that. All kudos to Kaf. It's beautiful. You know that, that feeling of that great spike? All yeah, right. Like I did that. <laughs> they tried to do it there with Genesis. <laughs> On the other side. Sareno with the slide. It's way off. Myla Pablo. Lack of wrist action by Myla Pablo in that rally. Two one. Then Santiago Manabat. Didn't they, didn't they call back then in college when IV got into and you like the second coming of Din Din? Remember there were the, those comparisons? The talks. Yeah. I mean, it's showing now. Mm -hmm. Takoron swipes it over. Faith from behind. That's the set that Faith likes with that back. Which is what? Which is what? A little bit in front of the 10 foot line and a little bit low. She does not like the high set because her approach is fast and mm. from Ateneo days, mm. Jaja Maragino and Faith has had that good connection. connection. So Faith does not like the super high set and she does not like it when the set is too often. Anagala, four points already here. She's really making it back. After she really looks healthy. We're seeing Calf also looks very healthy. These are one of the reasons why F2 also, and I'm not making an excuse for them, but I'm just stating facts. In, in previous conferences, why they also had a hard time was because also of injuries. They couldn't compete as, right. as a full team because of injuries. Actually, the game of absence, one conference, one conference. they couldn't leave because they were hounded by injuries. As Aragala slams the door on Din Din Santiago Manabat one on one. And not only that, you see fresh legs, they're more agile, they're more loose. Santiago tries to get it back and she does. I'll check in with Franny Reyes now. F2 took that first set, but they had very, very clear instructions from the coaching staff during the time out. The coaches told them, uh, the attackers rather, that they should always be ready. Dapat silang pumasok and trust in the setter. They told Kaf to tell her attackers to move if they're not moving. And I think this highlights actually what Myla Pablo was telling me is their strength. It's their chemistry. The 
the way they understand and know how to play with each other. So we should expect even better attacking from the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Now, to all our fans watching the PVL, you can watch on the Pilipinas Live app, which you can download for only 149 pesos a month. Back to the panel. Franny Reyes, of course, our insider here for game number two of our triple header tonight. Match number five of the conference. Asareno backtracking for that one. Desperos said a perfect save by Maraginot. That's exactly what Jamie was talking about. Desperos avoiding the hands of the block of F2. She's been trying to go with that cross-court attack since the first set, and you know, she's now successful in that. Carlos Sharma in attendance, as always, whether it's the UAP or the PVL. What a serve, good serve. A great recovery there by F2. Desperos goes for the angle, pinball, chance. Madrigal sends it back right away. Galan rolls it over, off speed. No, another off speed for Ivy. Chance ball. Oh, and Ivy couldn't keep it in play. What happened there, Jamie? She actually jumped too early oh. for that. Myla Pablo was almost there to get it, but I think it was just too far. But I have to talk about the sequence of this rally. Got to talk about the defense as well. I mean, oh, lahat out of system. And they're very quick to react now compared to the Invitational Conference. But you're talking about Akari. Akari, okay. There's a little more chemistry that you see, more right? More chemistry. And normally, Coach Georgia, he has a lot of substitutions. Mm. And now, this is the main six that he's leaving. That we're seeing, yeah. Galang! Full oh, swing! Oh for the Angeles native. Gala going for that. She's going for that down the line there, Boom. Let's see it. This is classic, classic Aragala. Over triple block. A loose triple, triple block. Yep. Yeah. Six points. She leads Akari. Sorry, she leads F2. Great instinct there by Madrigal. They get the ball back because of that. She gets rewarded. Right idea by Pablo, but just a little too low. No KKD again for those of you tuned in just now. Don Makandili Katindig also out. We don't know for how long. For both of them, for that matter. Joe Fernandez also behind the bench. One of their acquisitions alongside Jelena. De La Cruz, Mars Alba, who are all on the bench, by the way. Abby goes cross. Abby, the points. With her running attack, you never really know where it's going to. They're down the line, cross court, and you see Akari not stabilized in their defense. She doesn't know. They don't know where to go with the running attack. She also played the shifts in the last moment, and then there is that that cut that she does. And boom, she does that because she sees the block. The blocker. Genesis, good first ball there. Faith. Straight up. Leaving that touch. Second referee, Ryan Vincent Corpus, finding somebody uh, touching the net. Myla Pablo says Myla Pablo. she didn't touch, but she will be called. So the only way to settle this is a challenge, a video challenge to find out. And some players, you know this, some players, when you're playing the game, you also don't notice this. Sometimes you think you don't touch it. In the moment. Yeah. Or it may be that she really felt that she did not touch it. So yep. we'll see. She seems confident that she didn't. But sometimes they've uh, a little bit of an elbow, their skin, your, maybe your hair, your finger, and the adrenaline of the game. You sometimes do not feel it. So let's see. A shirt, the I mean, yesterday shirt yung uh, Sunday shirt naman yung tomama sa net that the player did not realize. So we will settle that via the video challenge. 
this is on this side. Oh. There you go. That's it's what the we're hair. talking about. It's the hair. Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, oh they're not going to no. call. They're going to call it as a no hand yeah. touch. Strange because usually, Jamie, you know this. Counts. The hair counts, yeah. So, interesting. Interesting. We'll try to get a clarification for that. But it will be F2 point. Maybe it's because it was after. We'll find out. We'll figure it out later. Maybe we'll get a chance during the technical timeout as F2 gets another point. Ties this match at 7 all. Maragino going for that open attack to Dindin Manabat. Two blockers were already there. Half enjoyed Takaron. Stabilized block, rather. Good first ball, first pass. Good ad lib by Madrigal, who adjusted in midair. So that was a little too far from her. But she adjusted. Just tipping it over. And those are the balls that actually look so simple to get, but it's so quick to react. Faith in the top three of scoring of the Invitational. Galang solid on the first ball. That's an open spot that she targeted, Mario she knew. Mila Pablo did. Eight all, this is just how our first set went, Jamie. The defense on the side of Akari. Huge hole in zone five. Mila Pablo maximizing that. Azareno has been backtracking okay. while receiving. <laughs> ja, back to Trisha, cross court, that's it. Jaja. Jaja, I have to say, ever since Ateneo, she is very, very good at giving her blockers, her attackers, one block. And you see Joy Takarot with the lead in that rally. Ezra will get us going. Fajardo. Cut shot. Oh, somebody scraped Cut. the net on this side. Fifi called for this one. She admit to it. <laughs> Not at first. <laughs> <laughs> after. After. On the way down. Tell from our angle, but yeah, no challenges there. Sharma tries to get it back. Nine all here. Ara again. CJ, Myla from behind. Azareno, Genesis over the blockers, saved by Pablo. Kalang. She'll get it again. Soft touch this time. The tip doesn't work. Faith from behind. CJ with a slide. And Luxina puts it away. Luxina always ending it on a great kill. In between the block, she's usually the spiker that Kaf goes to during long rallies, and she has been succeeding in that rather. Luxina in the top 10 of scoring of the Invitational. Very consistent player. Mm -hmm. At number 10, by the way. Good said. That's how. Nobody touched it too. Great intention though. She was targeting an open spot there. And all of a sudden, F2 with a two point lead, which at the rate that we're going is a luxury right now. Chacha had to move. Then, then again, see? Succeeded Keep going there, yeah. Going for that long ball, cross court attack. Which what she was trying to go for in the previous attack. Elisoyot will come in for Dindin Santiago Manaba to serve. Another player playing against former teammates. This will be a brief rest for sure for Din Din. For Din Din. That's gonna be out. That is painful. 
That's your role. Rosie Ravenna. Looking over the Akari Chargers, of course. Putting this team together, making the acquisitions for Akari. It's a great play. Not a solid pass, but they still get a point off of it. And now we get the technical timeout, 13 to 10. We will be back. Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. All right, Jamie, I got a clarification from our second referee, Ryan Vincent Corpus. First of all, he said in real time he saw the head hit. Not just the hair, but the head. So the video challenge corrected it, and he said the call was correct. I mean, his call was incorrect, and the video challenge showing that the hair, the hair. hitting the net. It's correct that it wasn't supposed to be called because he said... As I clarified that, the hair will only be counted if it's part of, this is going to sound silly, but part of the head hitting, uh, hitting. the net. Yes, so but the, if it's an extension part, an extension meaning, hair you know, a flip, I don't know, not necessarily a hair extension <laughs> per se, and I don't know why I know this, but, yeah, please but explain. The, flip, the flip, if it's just a flip and it's away from the head, they said that they will use, that it will usually be allowed. It will not be called. Interesting because I've seen in previous leagues or whatever, you know, that, that those things were also called as net uh, infractions. But that's his explanation. So we're gonna we're gonna stick with that, and that's what we're gonna tell our audience. As a 5-1 run, by the way, by F2 prior to the technical timeout. And this is a 2-0 quick run to cut the lead down to 1. So this, again, Jamie, just like our first set, you know, these two teams. The same. Yeah. Sa dulo ang magkakatalo ulit. Kneeling set. Great coverage by CJ. Trisha, solid on the dig. Soyud sends it over. Calf chases, Gala, a chance here to counter. Jaja goes to Nisperos. That is the perfect height for her, according to Jamie La Vittoria. That is exactly what she likes, low and on the net. Have to give credit to their setter, Jaja Maraguino. Take a look at that. Yes. Fooling the blockers of F2. 3-0 run, counter run after the 5-1 run of F2. Ivy from the right pin. Aiming for that down the line. Ivy, great swing from her. Yeah, Faith liked it because there was a rebound after that. Yeah, yeah. But Trisha could not get the step. That step to the left. 14 serving 13. Breaks that 3-0 run. Running attack. Checked by Galang. She saw that a mile away. Ooh. What an angle. From a 
break ball. Cross court attack by Faith and Sparrows. You see she's adding variation to her attacks down the line. And now going for that cross court. Oh, right there. Sweet spot. 14 all. What a good match we, we have here. First two sets have been quality volleyball. Came back to Ara. Rejected as an end. Great job by Ezra. No entry. Perfect press of the yep. hands. And the timing. Perfect timing. And they take over the lead. 15-14. Team Akari. And in classic Fifi fashion, she really takes her time serving. Nice serve. Just a short run. Oh, Sharma rolling away from Faith. That is overcooked. That is great effort by both Faith and Fifi. The instinct to yeah. roll away. Yes. How I got um, Maranya rather. Overcooked that running attack. Casila now on the court. Casila, okay, Mars Alba will also check in. Double sub. Calf, yep, with a double sub. We got a lot of time and court time during the invitation of her and Jelena, right? Jean powering F2 to a bronze in the Invitational. And Fifi joining Akari in the offseason. Or actually during the Invitational. Ellie keeps it. Faith will send it. Ooh. I love that risk taking. She can easily give a free ball, but she, yeah. she went for it. That, that's her character. And you know? she's extremely far from the net. Very. That's, you know what? Even in Ateneo, she's obviously dealt with so much out-of-system plays and all that. She, she really just goes for it. Faith mishits the ball. Too early. Yeah, but they get it back. And she gets it back. Counter-attack here. Pablo twisting in the air. Saw it from behind. Faith. Oh, great angle. That's the way for a double-handed put away. None of that weak stuff. Yep. Push it down. Dunk it almost. There you go. That's the that's the term I'm looking for. Thank you very much, Jamie. Always willing to save me. <laughs> Got you. Yeah, Got I know, you. I know you do. Gotta commend the defense again from Akari. Hazarena, she's been silent, but She's there, she's doing her job. Good serve. That's a great serve. And they get the ball back because of it. Alba opens up to Pablo, denied. Casila, that's out. Wow. The reaction of Genesis. <laughs> who is another character, as we all know. <laughs> They're gonna challenge it? They're gonna challenge it. Strategic move. Maybe, be because the lead is also at three. Jamie, that's a perfect way to say it. Gotta break their momentum. Like you said earlier, the challenge system acts as another timeout. Yep, if you want it to end. Now that the challenge, the coach can talk to the players, yep. unlike in previous conferences, as long as he doesn't enter the court. 8-2 yep. run. Oh, okay. For the result of the challenge. No sweeping blocks is what Coach Regine is talking about. That's way out, and it did not hit Genesis's foot. 
So, but a challenge that was worth taking just for those specific instructions, Jamie. And like, Timely. Yeah. They want to be solid on the block. They don't want to. Parang na sa galon na nagwawalis. Yep. Sa net. Because it'll deflect. Yep. And let the defenders handle the deflections. That's what she's saying there. 18 serving 15. Did that timeout or pseudo timeout <laughs> break the momentum? Yes, it did. It worked in their favor. Myla Pablo ending that. Very loose. Yep. 18-16. Well, Franny Reyes said in the pregame, right? They feel like this is the lineup that they feel like they can make some moves in the conference and moving forward in conferences ahead. You're saying, Talk about Akari, and you're saying defensive chemistry is not something that you saw in previous conferences that you're seeing today. So you and Franny are saying pretty much different things, but meaning the same thing. See the fundamentals of Akari and. I said this earlier in the first set, Coach Georgia normally has his substitutions, but I think what's working now is sticking. To a core. Yep. All right. And now it's also showing in the game, they're in the lead. They battled in that first set, and now they're in the lead, 19-16. The question now is, can they finish the job? We'll find out. It's 1916. Faith getting ready. And that that thing that they that she had to recall her serve, I think, affected her. Yep. She was ready to go the first time. You have this mindset that your first toss is the serve that should go over. Cap is back, Ivy is back. Ain't over for Akari, you know that. You're six points away. And F2 came back from three points down earlier to win. Akari needs to maximize this lead. Oh, but they got a break there. Very crucial. Very good server at that, making that error. Get gifted with a point. 20 17. Almost wide. Ivy takes it, gets it back. Ivy, Unable to keep it in play for Faith. Great swing by Luxina with that combination play. If you have a chance to utilize that combination play, this is where you should take that risk. Jolina de la Cruz makes her appearance here to serve. serving 20. Good serve at that. Very good serve. Broken play. Now a chance for F2. Genesis got it, but it rebounds out. Very close. I have to give credit to Kaf with that set. last minute decision. I mean, look at the, there's no block. I mean, Genesis was there, but Fifi. 1920, like we said, this is not over. Gary needs to learn how to close sets. Nice serve. Great serve. Combination. Bumawe to Genesis. To give credit to Hazarano with her stabilized receive. I mean, Jaja Maraguino is not running back and forth. That was something that they needed to work on for the Invitational Conference. Loose ball. One more chance. Akari goes back to Trisha, and nobody home on the rebound. Joy Dakaron. She has not have had a lot of attack points, boom, but she's doing her job as a middle blocker and defending. No coverage on the side of Akari. 20 
21, that is out. Ooh, that might, that is painful. This is where things change in the first set. Remember the 21-20 mark. Dito ngayon tayo, 21-20. Crunch time. And then a miss serve. Time out. Ooh, let's listen in. Makuha yung point na to. Kaya ako nag-time out, okay? Ila na spiker sa harap. Tatlo, di ba? Dalawa. Ay, di, dalawa lang. Dalawa lang. Okay, ready lang. Ready, kuha ka ng back row. Fate, fate. Laban ka naman. Isa magandang pasa lang. Okay? Then, Kimi, front row ka, mga dua ka lang para. Di pa? Kung tatlo ba spiker sa harap din niya natin? Natin, natin. Natin, natin. O, pag tayo, kailangan mo kung ano yung puntos na yan. So, pag tayo isang maganda, para yung next point na yung pagpaglimahin. Crucial timeout there. She said she called this timeout to specifically get this point. Mitch Cobb will come in. For Jaja, tell me what's the uh, very crucial. Yeah, what, 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 what do you think, is, uh, Coach Jorge, doing here? I mean, I said this yesterday on the game. We won't have two of the same setter, and maybe Cobb's style of setting is what Coach Georgia wants for the second set. For this point. Okay, Bang will do the setting here. Bump sets it to Faith. CJ, yeah, digging it up. Broken play again. Mitch to Ellie. Big pass to the other side and a safe bet by Ara. Mitch opens up to Faith. Denied. Picked up. It's still 22-20 on a long rally. And it's still ongoing. Bang. Soyuz. Oh, what a dive by CJ. Mitch. It's still going. Faith. Caught by Ara. Ivy again. Mitch. Denied at the net. Fate Nisperos puts it away. These were the rallies, Jamie, that they could not win in previous conferences. I like consistently, I mean. Fate Nisperos going to zone five. I mean, the defense of both, both. both teams here. 23-20. How can you not love this sport? Yes, That's a tough set. Tough set. Tough set and a set point by the Akari Chargers. Akari ending on a high note, but wait, boom, it's not over. 20-24. But some, uh, you could say, some space to work with. Me cushion. Cushion. You mentioned it perfectly, Jamie, in the first set. You have to learn how to close out sets or even games. Abby, Kim, Ivy, denied at the net. And Akari wins it on defense. Faith and Fifi collaborating for a winning block for set number two. The last two sequences is a team effort, a collective effort by Akari. Could you see them rejoicing? Hey, you know what? Our first set, 21 20. It was a 5 1 run by F2 to, to finish off. Here, we were 21 20, and it was a.
Hi, this is Don Makandili from the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers, and this is the big question. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> <Isapa. laughs> Are you afraid that F2's chances for a championship is nearing its end? Okay, yung question na to medyo tagos siya sa akin kasi um, coming from a champion team in college, medyo mataas yung momentum ng team. And then, uh, in the recent years, medyo bumaba yung momentum namin. So, siguro nandun kami ngayon, we're in a rut, and we're trying to figure out, together, syempre, kung paano ba namin mababalik yung glory dun sa team namin. And for sure, there's always that hope um, to finish on top. That hope you always bring to training, uh, that sparks your joy in playing. So, laging may hope para talagang hindi ka titigil lumaban hanggat sa last mong laro. It's important because we want to prove to ourselves that we're not working hard for nothing. Parang we just want to give back yung pinaghirapan namin para sa isa't isa. What a loaded question for Don Makandili Kantindigwa. Well, F2's not going anywhere for sure. A chase for that championship, knowing that franchise. And they are on the right track as they have gotten better uh, the last conference and gotten healthier. But today, they're in a battle. 25-21 for F2, 25-20 for Akari. What changed in terms of the numbers there? Well, you look at the attacks, you have 14 on the side of Akari and 11 from F2. I mean, the consistent play of Akari, I keep saying their defense is so stable. You have Hazareno, you have Bank Paneda. I mean, got to give credit to Jaja Maraginot for switching up the offense and continuously giving her blocker, her attackers one block. Then that uh, rabbit that uh, Coach uh, Jorge pulled out uh, the last uh, few points in that second set, putting in Mitch Cobb, changed everything. Well, not changed everything, but added a little difference uh, to the Something defense, new. yeah, of F2 and changed it up. And they held on for a 25 to 20 win, which means we are guaranteed at least four sets here in the second of our triple header. We're happy to have you with us. Jamie Lavatoria beside me. My name is Boom Gonzalez. We have Franny Reyes, of course, going around this Smart Araneta Coliseum for the second game of our triple header. Match number five, day number two for the Premier Volleyball League 2023, second All Filipino Conference. You're watching us in free to air on One Sports, in high definition on One Sports Plus, and for all of our uh, Filipino and volleyball fans all over the world via Filipinas Live. You have some family. Yep, my right? mom is so happy. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy's happy, we're, we're doing yep. the right thing, right? That's what we always say. Mom's got to be happy. We haven't had a five-set match yet. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Are you requesting <laughs> for one? You're right beside Coach Richie Diego mean, and uh, Coach Bok. Do you want to talk Usually, to we would have had one already. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't mind. Like you I said, don't mind also. <laughs> You're talking to a guy who was here till 11 p.m. last Sunday. You're used to this. I know. You're Let's go. To... Let's do it. <laughs> I'll go straight to the UAP if I have to tomorrow. <laughs> Third set is underway, and Aragalang will get us started. And by the way, F2 is led by Marsalba. Oh, Marsalba will start. Yeah, you're right. There's F also no Manabat on the side of Akari. Yeah. They're sticking with Elise Sawyer. I wanted to say that the F2 is led by Ivy Laxinas, 11 points on 10 attacks, while Faith Nesperos, 12 points, 9 attacks, 3 blocks also for you know, two girls who came from the National University program, the NUNS program. Faith and Ivy, former yes, teammates, yeah.
Dump doesn't work for Joy. Ellie. Pablo twisting. Ja. Oh, another long rally here to start us here. Is Bang able to dig it up? Faith again. They get it back. From behind. Longest rally probably of the match right now. Soyud from behind. That Ooh. is in. The line. But they're going to challenge that automatically. Great swing by Soyud. The longest rally probably, right? Or at the Just very started. least, second longest of the match. Now it's going to be challenged. Ball in, ball out. Later on, of course, the Petrogas Angels, the last two teams that we haven't seen for this year. And the Galleries Tower High Risers, the 12th team in this bigger and better Premier Volleyball League. Earlier today, Cherry Eagle winning in three sets over Farm Fresh and the debut of Louis Romero, the captain setter. Gave uh, Cherry all they could handle in those three sets, actually winning that third set, but lost it in the end for Coach Jerry Yi, which sets us up here for F2 versus Sakari. Now, okay, I think we have a decision already for this ball in, ball out challenge, or do we? Okay, here we go. Oh, that is very close. That is out. That might be out. It's out? out, yeah. Uh, I think that's a shadow. shadow. Yep, that might be a shadow. shadow. So that long oh. rally. Yeah. Worth the, worth the challenge for Coach Regine. <laughs> all for one point. One all, one all. F2 keeps its challenges. Intact. Fifi. That's too low. Short. So let's go to Franny Reyes right now. I actually want to talk about that celebration from the Ahari Chargers after that set to win. You could feel the energy from everyone on that team, how happy they were to take that set and how much they wanted to win or how much they want to win this game. Now, after that celebration, Coach Jorge actually let the girls talk to each other. They were discussing amongst themselves what they need to improve on, what else can they do, how much stronger and how much harder they need to go in this game against F2. Sabi nga nila, walang hihinto. And I actually talked to Dindin Santiago Manabat earlier. She's taking a bit of a backseat in today's game but she told me that the newbies didn't really need to adjust because they have that maturity and they balance the energy of the team very well now she also told me that the strength of Akari this conference would be in blocking and attacking we did see that earlier Akari led in both blocks and attacks and maybe they will continue to do that as this game goes on now of course to our fans you can continue streaming the PVL games on the Filipinas live app download now for only 149 pesos a month back to back. Especially if you have family in different parts of the world, they can watch volleyball and we have such a huge international volleyball community. That's right. So download the app now and tell your family and friends about it as we are a two serving three. Earlier, Jamie, we uh, caught the glimpse of the new libero for F2 and uh, Marian Andal. Now CJ is back. Ellie fires one across. Ellie Soyud going for that back row attack, and she is on the court. Dindin Manapat was in the second set. So Coach Georgia is maintaining Soyud on the court. Nine points for uh, Ellie, sorry, for Dindin Santiago Manabat. While Eli Soyud scores her first. CJ with a perfect pass. Faith. Alba kneels for the set. Ja, perfect pass again to Faith. Faith unable to put it away. Laksina pulls back. Right, it's all five. 
Look at that open space, that oh, open six. Sorry, yeah. defense on the side of Akari. Luxina, just with her height, she's able to see over yes, the block. Yes, yes. Yun yung advantage niya, advantage din din as mga opposites, ano? Or si Kat, Tolentino That's before right. also. Over-received. Enjoy the run, scores that one. The new acquisition for F2. Anderson, sorry. Falcon. Slash beauty queen. Joy the Coron. Two players going for it. And Dal and Pablo. Dal, of course, has had great success in the NCAA, even in the offseason as a best libero. A lot of comparisons also to Dawn. Yep. You get compared to the greats, you know, Dawn to Tenden. If you start getting compared to those ones, uh, you're on the right track. Yep. <laughs> Aragalang left that sail out because that was why for Jaja. Justin with a great pass. Great pass. A little help with the net, yes. Not the cleanest of attacks for that short running attack by Ezra, but I mean, a point is a point. Yeah, the net help. A little bit in terms of ruining the timing yep. of, of those uh, sweepers. Of the reaction time. Mm, yeah. Jump serve coming. Woo! Underneath. Yeah. Live and die with that. So 7-5. Tricky with that serve. I mean, your toss is fresh. Funny, uh, coincidentally, they showed Coach Jorge there when Faith was still with Ateneo, and then she joined the the national team. Remember the the, the two national teams that we had, um, and Jorge handled her for the first time. He uh, corrected some of the things, the some jump serve, yeah, of uh, Faith. And uh, Faith has become a better jump server since, she says. As Ellie Soyan sends this one to the net. This is the biggest lead of F2 in the third. 8-5. The right idea for Ellie Soyan, but just a little bit too short in that rally. Because I think at that time, Faith was wondering whether she would keep the serve or not. The jump and serve. and Coach Jorge said, no, keep it. We just have to tweak it. Kelly. That's two attacking errors, which prompts Coach Jorge yeah, to send in Din Din Santiago Manaban. And he saw it now with a couple of hitting errors to give F2 its biggest lead at 9 5. That actually is our biggest lead all throughout the match, except for that 25 20 ending of the first set. That's why, too. Contact, you could see it was going to swing left. I'm done getting extensive point set. During the break between two and three, um, CJ Wu, as we said, best libero from the NCAA. Also, during the offseason, she got a best libero award. CJ Wu was by the back of the bench breathing hard <laughs> after that ending of the second set so maybe coach Regine now and to switch them so that she can get these spurts of uh, a little bit of a breather she is <laughs> the question is will she stay with F2, yes. right? That's a, uh, you know, for them when Dawn returns, and we don't know how Dawn will be out for, of course, how long, rather. Two unforced errors on the side of F2. 10 7. 
Set three. And then fully rested, Jamie, for this set number three. Good set. Good serve, rather. Dig by Ara. Dig by Din Din. Not that time. No digging that. Have a chance to swing at it. Myla Pablo. Yeah, no blockers, no chance. Nice serve. Pablo on the counter. Goes back to her. Two in a row by Pablo. The defense on the side of Akari. It's not looking the same, Boom, from the past two sets. Biggest lead now, Akari is behind by five. <laughs> Running attack. <laughs> Abby gets a hand on it. Pablo with the save, what an effort. Actually outside. Sorry, what did you see, Jamie? When Abby went for that third contact, oh. putting it over. It was beyond the antenna? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. I was looking at Myla, so I wasn't watching the play. Yep. Is Myla splattered over here Actually, to the boards. Outside. So it was outside, so the point will go to Akari here. Eight will be serving no 12 challenge. then. No challenge. No Over received. The ball, power dump. Former teammates with that joust at the net. <laughs> We're professionals now. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Again, a little power on the tip. Double handed tip for Fifi. 9 12. Jaja will bump it to Faith, and Faith, her power is used against her. Mars Alba sends it back. We got a technical timeout after we watch this rejection at the net. usually see two PBL teams going head-to-head -head in these types of scrimmages, but it's always welcome, especially for Fifi and Justine, as this was their first time going up against another PBL team. Now, as to who won that scrimmage, I guess we'll have to wait for their official matchup. Back to the panel. They both won, right? <laughs> if you get to practice, any kind of simulation that you get is a win. Especially when you haven't played for quite a while. And we're going to be playing for a while here in this 
full-on tournament that we're gonna have, Jamie, with 12 teams and everybody finally getting to play each other. Yep, I mean, at least once. The longest PVL tournament. Mm. That's a long slide. And she still gets it. We've been waiting for a clean attack on Fifi Sharma with that running, going for that sharp cross court. Great timing, great set by Jaja. And great angle by Fifi. Here comes Fifi, who will take her time to serve. 10 serving 13. Andal receiving, yep. A little too low. The, the, the second ball. The right? set. Yeah, the set. A little set. too low for Joy. She was already trapped. You're right. By yeah. Ezra. Yeah. Eleven serving thirteen. The debut of Fifi Sharma as a professional. Dal again with a good first ball. Woo! Sets up Laksina here, spanking that one. And you see now, from the previous conference, she was in the an open. And now, in this certain rotation, she is open there and she's using it to her advantage in between the block of Akari. Here, the impact of her hand and the ball. I saw Andal go back to the bench, being greeted by all of her teammates, getting the congratulatory. <laughs> Double-handed uh, high fives, welcoming her officially with a great uh, first ball earlier. Little moments, no, that you see here when you watch live. The dynamics of yep. uh, of teammates or the team in general. 15 serving 11. Ezra again with the left Good dive there, and the pancake by Mars. Another one. Ooh, that's the third time she's executed that. A lot of the attacks of Akari are, you know, in that donut hole zone. It's important that the defense of F2, they have to stay planted on the 10-foot line. Akari doing the chasing here. 12, serving 15. We have not seen, you know, Majoy Baron here so far. We've seen Jelena already, short stint. Mars Alba, obviously, to serve Jelena earlier. A couple of rallies she was in. Calf has been out for a while as Mars has taken over. Ara has been consistently on the court. Din Din with another great opposite spike from the right bin. It's a great set by Jaja Maraginot. I mean, look at, because of her height and might, Manabat is able to avoid the hands of the blocker going to that zone too. Sharp cross uh, So sharp, yep. Down two. Bakari Chargers, 1-1. One, one. We were targeting that earlier. Not that time. Maranio marches back into the front line for Alba. She has Gala, Maxina, and Maranio to play around with. Dakoron will get us going for this rally. Except. Ivy, set back. Easy ball. Ara, rejected. Picked up by Abby. They go to the other side with IB. Oh, it went back to F2. Ara, high ball. Madrigal has played well here. And this lead is down to two. Ara, she was actually trapped in that last part of the rally. Have to give credit to the blocking of Vakari. The timing, the positioning to where they are with their opponent. It's it's the right way to do it. Big 
Dennis Beros, 13 points today so far. Those are the numbers for the go-to scorer for Akari. That sails out again. Shola Alvarez. Another former MVP awardee. Justin, big pass to Trisha. That bounces out. <laughs> Good decision by both Trisha and Justin. A little bit of a, a bit of flexibility there, too. Dexterity to avoid that ball. And we haven't talked about Genesis in this set, but you can see improvement on her service received. She is usually the target she is. You're of right, her Jamie. of their opponent of her opponent. All right. Spoken like a true uh, scouting report, <laughs> Jamie. Huh? You're giving away some of your <laughs> scouting reports from college, huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, Trisha, target. Yep. Sorry, Trisha. She knows it, don't worry. <laughs> I think everybody knows it. She knows it, everybody knows Very it. Awesome. Yes. They make it hard on her. Mitchkov will come back in, this time way earlier. Okay. Referee Ryan Vincent Corpus has to organize the protocols of uh, our substitution. Again, we're very strict here in volleyball when it comes to these things. You just cannot dart in and out. Jamie. So Kim comes in for Ivy. Hank <laughs> Asilan comes in for Mars Alba, while Mitch Cobb comes in for Jaja Maraginot. There you go. Now we're ready to play. 16, serving 17 now. Pump pass. Casila goes cross. A chance for F2 to counter again. Andal will send it to Galang. She didn't like it. There's a chance for Akari now to tie this match. And they do! You have an open space on the defense of F2. Height and might with Manabat powering over the block of F2. Coach Eugene instructing for F2 to go back to the base six. As this lead is now gone, it's down to a tie, 17 all. Ara. Cobb. Wow, she was still able to set that one. Perfectly. Another broken play. Back set to Dindinch, too slow, too low rather. Pablo in the middle of the head of Dindin. And they retain the lead here because of that timeout by Coach Regine. Myla Pablo with that back row attack. The block of Akari is not fully pressed in that round. Nine points for that girl. On eight attacks, they're missing that girl. KKD, who suffered, of course, that injury towards the end of the invitation. Did not get to the playoffs. Hindi na siya nakasama sa semifinals. We are 
course, where they went down uh, against Greenline in the invitation. 18 all. Guess what? This is where we were. <laughs> Same. Set one, set two. Great receive. And by the way, this to say this is a compliment to Akari now that they've been able to do this in three sets, regardless of whether they win this match or not. They, they, they've been battling. They, in previous conferences, they, sometimes you'll see a great first set or a great one set, and then, you know, they, they, the dips are so obvious. Now they've been able to sustain some sort of effort, both on offense and defense, but Trisha there, way wow. underneath the ball. Lack of verse action. And Boom, to add to what you were saying, you mm. did talk about trimming, right? And I think with that, Coach Georgia was able to really focus on the players that he needs to focus on. On, on a, uh, a card. Yeah, it's on a core. Yeah. Yep. core One team. point is over, huh? Guys, just pay attention, huh? You pay attention, drop to five. I know. Drop low to five. Drop low to one. Guys, transition, set the ball high for him. Open the opposite. Huh? There's no fastball. Transition, okay? So you have time to go. That's it. Huh? Okay, receive there. You are, you are, you're playing good, okay? Now just let's finish, huh? Receive there, go ahead and spike. Twenty eighteen is the score. See Trisha Genesis and her head down in that timeout. This is why a lot of teams and you know this being a volleyball player, Jay, they target they identify these players who get affected psychologically and then they continue to target them during service. Yep. To seed some doubt in their head. And maybe, just maybe add a little frustration onto them and into their game. She has to get over that person. So she has to be able to deal with that. Now that she's Quick. being... Yeah. Quick. Especially now we're seeing that she's being really used by Coach Hall. Actually, that's a good point because in the previous conferences, usually she's first six and then in she and gets out. subbed out yeah. and then goes back in, vice versa. But she's all around. But, I mean, I do see improvement. Regine, I think, is going to challenge this for a touch. Yes, a block touch. That, the ball is out, but the challenge is block touch, or a check ball, as they say. But the official term, of course, is block touch. 19-20, if Akari, if uh, F2 loses this challenge, we are tied at 20. Oh, look at that. Just like set one and set two. The game has been won so far on this this point, right? Let's see. Oh, no touch. So we are at 20 all. Worth a challenge, though. Ball sprayed to the right on its own. Coaches had time to talk to their players during that challenge. What good pass. 20 all. Ito na naman. Yeah. Good serve. Good first ball. Wow, Takaroy with the dump. The timing. We have not seen any attack points by Takaroy, but take a look at that swipe on that B quick attack. Cena in for Fajardo. Alba in for Casilag. 21-20. Who will win on the 21-20 mark this time again? So we're back to the first six of F2 this third set. Of the third set, yes. you're right. And this is by far the strongest rotation with three spikers. You have Alba in the back row. Ooh, what a tough set. Oh, you missed it with the left-handed dig. Oh, but a free ball given to Akari here, Cobb. CJ was wise to that. Another free ball for Akari. Mitch sets it up with one hand. The chase by Alba. Pablo had to adjust. Asareno keeps it alive. Asperos is denied. Here we go again at the 21-20 mark. And we only seem to have a long rally at the 21-21 yep. first point.
Great swing by Faith, but... Big rejection. Yep. From F2. Hazarena with that dive during that rally. Yeah, with the One save. Hand. So we have a net touch challenge here. Hmm? Interesting. What did Coach Jorge see? It was during the block, I assume, that, uh, they, that they're challenging on uh, Fate Miss Peros when Fate went for the swing, as you mentioned. Okay. Let's listen in first. All right, let's take a look at this decision. Was it the ball? It looks like... Yeah, it looks like the ball was the one that hit the net on the way down. It could look mistaken. Right. Right. The hand. So F2 wins that so far today. The crucial 21st point. That has been the trend. That has been the pattern. Cobb reverses to Din Din over the blockers. Ivy over the blockers, and it's way over, and it's long. The set was a little bit outside of the antenna. She was trapped. It's just so nice to watch Din Din on one side and Ivy on the other side, on opposites, right? The towers. Yeah, different generation of NU players. Janine Marciano comes in as F2 protecting this 22-21 lead. Crucial third set, Jamie. Yes, Nobody. Whoa! And Dakarod stumbled onto that net. Where was the error there? Okay, set me Mars. One hand set the Atas Maria. Then Dakarod just could not control her on the right hand. That's a crucial three point given to Akari. Went to all. We have never reached this point, at least in the first two sets. Like we're tied at 22. Laksina no, 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 no. on the other side. They do. Oh, and I mean, scrape the net on the joust against Mitch Cobb. I mean, the timing of these unforced errors. Gives a carry the lead, yeah. yeah. Ivy knew it right away also when she... Look at this joust. The wrist. She knew it. Good serve there by Marciano. Pablo is rejected at the net and it's set for Akari. Akari doing their best towards the end of this third set. Of course, challenge called by F2. On the net, another one. A hot contested match here, the second of our triple header. Fifth of the conference. And it's up for grabs. Let's see. There's a neck touch. I don't think so. Yep. No neck touch, which means set point for Akari. First game in the AFC for both these two teams, and we are getting a treat. Can they finish? Janine has been serving well. Andal, nervous receive. 
Chance for Akari. Who will they go to? They go to Faith. Galang was there. Laxina. Oh, what a hit! What an attack! Big time for Ivy Laxina. By the way, her 15th point of the match. And using her height to her advantage. Oh, look at that. Right. A soft touch. It was yeah. not that powerful. But in between the antenna and the shell cobs right hand, of course, you attack the smallest yep. blocker of the other team. Jolina De La Cruz comes in as they save one set point. Faith with a nervous receive also. Chance for Akari here. Back to Faith. She didn't like the set. Pablo from behind. Hasareno. Cobb sends it over. And they get it back, would you believe? Back set to Dindin, another low one. Ivy finishes the point, and we are going to an extension. Akari had multiple chances of getting this point. But both Faith and Dindin could not get the set that they wanted, Jamie. Very crucial, and of course, who are you going to give the ball to? The one who has the hot hands. And by far is their go-to spiker now that KKD is not in the mix. 16 sweet points for her. Cobb again. Back to Faith. And it's back to the fourth of Akari. And Abdu takes set point. They were up 24-22. Three zero run. Faith not liking the set of Mitch. They save that one. F2 with a set point. Over receive. Pumalik pa rin. 25 all. There's a lot of anxiety on both ends. Including myself. <laughs> Captain Cobb. Good serve. And Dal takes it. That's Cobb will go back to Tindin here. Tindin put some force behind that. Mars looks at Jolina. Pinball alive. Cobb back to Faith. And they get another set point, their third of the set. Kate Despair is attacking that down the line. She finally liked what she saw, yep. Jamie. The set was low and on the net. Serving for the set. Captain. Can Akari hold its nerve? Jolina. Cobb with a chance here to go to Dindin. And Akari holds its nerve and pulls up a big one in set number three. Showing some toughness. And recovering right away, right? You did mention this boom. They would have a difficult time in previous conferences. No, they did not know how to recover from their mistakes right away, oh, but... Yeah, this was a gun set in yep. previous conferences, yep. for sure. But now Akari has a two sets to one lead over the F2 Logistics car.
in that third set. The third set, you see the Kari Chargers playing collectively as a unit. We have seen more consistent defense. I mean, there were moments in the middle of the set where the score went to F2, but I have to talk about the last part of that third set. They had two chances to get a set point, but they did not get it because of F2. And luckily, now that they have learned from the past, they're able to regroup and stay in. It's on 14 attacks for her. While 14 and 14 for Nisperos and Manapat on the other side. Tell us about the numbers, Jamie. See the attacks, 10 for Akari, 13. Uh, F2 rather, 13 for Akari. I mean, boom, we're entering the fourth set. This is now crunch time for F2. Akari is, has the momentum that they've been wanting to get. They've been waiting for this moment to get their groove. I talked about that in the pregame. And this could be the core six that they've been needing. And that's exactly what uh, Franny Reyes also kind of reported on, that they feel like they have a lineup that they can build on for the next conferences, not just uh, this one. Maxina and Nesperos both leading their teams here. Uh, there were also uh, number 10 and number 11 scorers for the Invitational. Laxina was number 10, Nesperos was number 11 last year. KKD, who was number 4, is indisposed for this matchup and we still don't know until when for that boy. But Laxina has really been a bright spot for, for F2. They stay with Cobb to begin set number 4. Ivy scores her 18th point. Laxina has been consistent this entire match. I mean, you see Mars Alba continuously giving her the ball. You can see that she's already gained that confidence in this match. And we have Jolina De La Cruz in the mix. Yes. Ivy has proven to be such a Swiss knife for F2 in previous conferences. No? Almost playing any kind of position now and being effective at it too as Jolina is blocked by her former teammate. She knew where the attack was going. No coverage on the side of F2. Winning <laughs> a championship together of Jolina's last year. Now all professionals here in the Premier Volleyball League. Now, the question is, can Akari close out a game? A set is another learning, but the game is a whole match is a totally different story. Gotta end it right. That's the question now being asked. That's way over the hands of the blockers for Ivy. Ivy trying to avoid the hands of the block, but a lack of wrist action in that rally. She's had five, sorry, four attacking errors, but it's also, that comes with the territory. She's been swinging a lot. 18 points on 15 attacks. She's had three blocks. Steady, steady Super performance. Super steady, and the only player in double figures for them. For, I was about to say La Salle. No, sorry, for, for <laughs> F2. <laughs> a pick up there by Genesis. Back set to Tindin. Jolina able to dig. Luxina over the block. Still alive. Luxina again. Faith finds a way to squeeze it through the block for their third point. 3 1. Let's go to Franny Reyes. Can Akari close out this game? I'm not so sure based on the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers' demeanor after that third set. Now they mean business. Everyone was serious. They, I could see them looking at each other and everything was a bit tense. Actually, Chang Abi Maranyo was telling everyone, Laban natin to. It's all about mental toughness as they enter the end game. And let's see how they'll fare in this fourth set. Now, of course, don't forget to download the Filipinas Live app for only 149 pesos a month 
so that you can keep up with all the sports happening today. Back to the panel. One kill. We're not giving up the set just like that, especially this girl, Ivy Luxina again. Three, two. What a swing and angle by Tintin Santiago Manaba. Their battle continues. See a few exchanges by Dindin. Cobb has continuously set Dindin in the back row, and it's been working. Now Cobb is back to serve. Now we have three spikers in the front. Wow, right pin this time, down the line. Boy, this girl's doing it all today. Now if you look, if you had a chance to see that set by Mars Alba, it was right next to the antenna. And Lexina had just a slim margin to put it down the line and she was able to execute that properly. Faith on the right pin. Call back to Dindin. That's too close for Dindin, but she's... Oh no, I was going to say she was going to score. She doesn't like it close to the net, Din Din does it? Definitely not. And the set for her needs to be a little bit higher. Complete opposite of what Faith, Faith Bear yeah. likes. Montegal has been effective today. Cobb has not go, gone to her towards the end of that second set, but finally there. Great improvement also for Montegal. That's right. Especially with her blocking. Not necessarily that stuff block always, but she's allowing the block to deflect on their hands. deflections, yep. yeah. What they call the soft blocks. Yep. Running attack. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Talking about angles. Maranio with that running attack. Sharp cross court. You know, Dindin is actually not in the right position for defense. She has to be on the 10 foot line. Five all. Abby Maranio with five points. Nice serve. Short serve. Ooh. Bars! Not the first time we've seen that. She does that a lot. One of the most offensive scorers or offensive setters in the UAAB. She's just waiting to get a chance to attack. Well, I know Muslim Barber, you have to do that every yep. now and then because Kim was like that too. It's a good set. That's a great set to Trisha. So that hitting point of a set from Cobb. And that's the set that Genesis likes. Low and also on the net, same as Ms. Barrows. You were a setter, of course, also, Jamie, one of the positions you've played. And how tough is that to study all of these uh, dynamics for your different attackers? I mean, you really have to adjust to your spiker. The setter has to adjust to the spiker. I mean, it's really important to know the style of set that your attackers want because that's going to allow them to perform. And of course, they'll always say the great spikers, they don't choose the sets, yep. but they have the preferred sets. Yes. Yes. The one that really makes them effective. And the setter should have some right now. Always. Right. 7-6. Have to with the lead. Genesis, Rumisi, Pumalo. She seems to understand Genesis' uh, preference, even with the dig pass. She's which already is, had two points. Yeah, for her. Four set. With Michelle Cobb. Yep. Again, a dig pass, obviously harder to control. In the overhand set, overhead set, rather. It's the momentum that we were talking about <laughs> earlier. Eight, 
Pat Joy Baron makes an appearance in the Invitational. She started a lot for Coach Regine. And Joy Dacoron will move out. Getting warmed up here. Tintin from behind. Ooh! Abby took that one straight. That's a great sell by Phoebe Sharp. To give credit also to Michelle Cobb giving Genesis just one block. Fifi really sold that, yep. that approach. And uh, sino pa na-attack niya? Si Majoy. Si Majoy yung na-attack niya. So, only one blocker for Genesis. Genesis with eight points of her own. Pineda. Wow! Faith Nesperos. Smart move. Is that intentional? It it, I was just gonna say, she's lucky on that point. Let's see, let's see. Oh, but she was going to roll it though, yeah. the way she, she, she went for the swing. So yes, let's give her credit for that. <laughs> Faith Nesperos with 16 points. No, no. My joy! Oh. Fifi says, no, go! Too low of the set by Mars. Akari takes this two-point lead now, 10-18. Actually trying to get herself warmed up here. Mars, bababawi in. Set again, that's going to drop in. See the pattern of Michelle Cobb and Manabad really continuously setting Manabad in that back row attack and always aiming for that zone one. Timeout F2. Eleven eight for Akari here in set four. Andal receiving. Bump set to Pablo. Somebody scraped the net on the side of Akari, and it was Fifi guilty for that. 11 9. She knew it. Yep. First ball. CJ had time to get there. And Pablo gets the point back and gets a little bit of a stare down on PP2. Pablo using her advantage and avoiding the hand of the block of Fifi Sharma. See the reaction after. Oh, we did catch it. Cut Genesis. 11 <laughs> 10. 2 0 run from F2 after the timeout of Coach Regine. Pablo again goes down the line this time. The chase by Cobb. Then then sends it straight to the net. 3-0-1. Coming from a break ball, that is not the easiest yep. of attacks. And also just the angle of that sequence. 11 all, boom. <laughs> same old, same old. Between these two teams here in this match. Faith gets it back. CJ was there. <laughs> Fifi again gets the point. They're looking for an overreach. Says F2, but nope. When you have to hide, you gotta maximize it. 
There was a soft one, but where no one was. Yes. Just enough trajectory. Yep. For it to be tough to get. 12-11. And Dahl takes it. Laxina with her 21st point. By the way, her career high here in the PVL came at the Invitational Conference against Petrogas, and it was 15. She is wow. at 21 right now. This is their opening match. It's a sign of things to come for the F2 fans. Din Din with the answer. That one's wide, wow. though. It's like a... What you can do, I will try to do better. 13-12, we got a technical timeout. We will do that. Time. 10 points for Milo Pablo to backstop the 21 of Ivy, Luxina. As you see, EJ Laure, and uh, of course, the rest of Cherry Tigo, who won in three sets over the Farm Fresh Foxies, spoiling the debut <laughs> of the great Louis Romero. <laughs> Professional debut. 13 serving 12. CJ quick to the ball. Oh, you gotta give CJ the point there. <laughs> and that's the second time actually that she's done that on Cobb. She did that in the third set. You right. Yep. Here at the corner, no? Yep. Luxina maximizing on that sharp cross. And it's always going in between Manabat and Cobb. 22 points for Luxina. Two point lead for F2. Just that last second adjustment of the wrist by Ivy Luxina. She is definitely on fire right now. Maximizing her height. Look at that final touch of the wrist. And it's not even the strongest of attacks, but the placement. For the first time, we will see Erika Raagas come in. And she will replace Faith Nesperos, fresh from the bench. Also a one-time starter for Coach Jorge. Good friends and former teammates in Ateneo, of course. 7-1 F2 run. And it can continue with this attack. Right in the middle, Genesis got to it. Matroy, Erica goes for the swipe. Jolina, cross. 
Erica will send it to Din Din. Din Din just too low. This is an 8-1 run. And separation here. 16-12. Short by Manabad. Hey. What times is A and B pass, huh? Go and pass, five transition. Eight cross, no line. Okay, go spike cross, okay? Even if you, you had an error or mistake, don't take the go take long, okay? Once again, last one, okay? You go there. Let them go in there to, to spike for you. Go back and ask and go strong high, okay? Back there. Four points, you only become three now. Let's go. You come here, you side out, you side out, come. Hurry, charger. Eight one run from F2 Logistics on Akari here who are looking for a set number five. We haven't had a set number five, is what Jamie reported earlier. Let's see. In this uh, this conference. Franny Reyes, are you ready to join us just in case? Go ahead. Thanks, Boom. Now, Majoy Baron is on the court for the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. And she did tell me that they knew that coming into this game, there would be several adjustments. But ultimately, this is a more confident, more prepared F2 because they also had more time to recover and more time to prepare. She also told me that she enjoys that she'll be going up or that she is going up against uh, fellow Lasallians in the Akari Chargers. You know, she used to look at players like FIFA like their, her younger sister, but now she gets to be even more competitive against them. Back to you, Boom. Oh, may mga stare downs na nga, encounter stare downs. <laughs> <laughs> they root for the, each other when uh, they're playing for the school, but now playing against each other completely different. 17 13. That's out. Right. Spot, right zone, just a lack of wrist action by Ezra. But much improvement by Madrigal. What would change here, Jamie? This is the first time in all of the four sets. This is the first time that we're approaching the 20th mark where there's a five-point lead. I mean, Akari, they have a lot of attacks, but it's not wow. being converted into points. And a lot of outside attacks. It's the precision of the attacks. It's not going in their favor. Ball in, ball out. Challenge. I thought the challenge was a block touch. No, but as uh, Manjoy was saying. But, okay, ball in, ball out. The call was out. Whoa, that is in. So that means F2 will continue here with a six-point lead, looking to push us to a fifth. Jaja comes in for Mitch Cobb. She was the starter, of course, for Akari. Era. That's great. But they got again able to get the great, the good, good set from Jaja, the Ezra Jaja connection. That he received by Genesis as well. Short slide. Effort. Yep, short slide. That's actually her specialty. Mm, so it's not too long, not too. It's tough to read. Good serve by Erica. Ivy delays that hit. She is just doing everything for F2 and a variety of hits too. A variety of attacks. I've been saying this and it's not the strongest of attacks, but it's 
all about the placement. She knows where to go when she's in the air because she sees over the block. 24 points for her. She will she will go to the join the other girls right now as Shola Alvarez will serve in her position. Let her get a breather and get ready for set number five if we reach set number five. Sinungkit. Oh, what a save by Mars. Dindin. That's a great save, but a great play by Janja for Dindin. Maximizing her spikers, going for the tallest attacker in Akari. Look at that save, second effort. Perfect roll. Comes back for the play, but Dindin puts it away. Ezra will get us going. Broken. Trisha. Almost, almost. Two straight points for Akari. The ball was actually going to Dela Cruz, but she was going in transition and didn't see that it was going in her direction. F2 will maximize this gap. Lead is four. Biggest lead was six in this set. Abby says, let's go. Using her smarts, switching it up. Going for that soft touch. Oh, what a touch. What a touch. Jelena. 21-16. Good spot for Fifi. Every time Jaja or Cobb has given Fifi the ball, it's always a successful point. The block was late. Way late. Because Jaja always jumps at every single time, and it fools the blockers. Ten points for her already, for Fifi. Got four players in double figures for Akari. But Mars Alba again. Wow. <laughs> See this? Twisting. It's beautiful. You talk about touch. Pitik. Yep. Nice serve. 23 17. About this earlier, boom. Can Akari learn from their mistakes? They have shown that they could win sets, but can they close it out? Very crucial. Free ball for F2. And now, set point for set number five. Is in the hands of Abby Marano, who will serve. Wow. What an effort by Shaul Alvarez. That is on oh, that touch. Majoy, I think, caught. Yep, she admit to it. <laughs> they have a little cushion, though. They had seven set points. And I'll receiving. Jolina. Sent back. Another set point save. Jelena with that back row attack. Stuff block by PP Sharma. F2 still has that cushion. And no matter what happens, they have really shown some major improvement here. 
F2 goes to the combination play. And we will go to the very first fifth set of the second All Filipino Conference of the Premier Volleyball League. F2 and Nakari. One more set when we come back here on Filipinas Live. Different team from F2 compared to the previous set in set three. I mean, they're playing collectively as a unit. Mars Alba really showcasing the talent of her, her spikers. And I have to give credit to the liberos and the other defensive specialists on the side of F2. I mean, towards the end, you can see the fight, the grit that they had on their faces, and they did not let up. So that was the, uh, the difference of that fourth set even if the uh, attacks were almost the same, just Akari coming up with some big, big errors in that fourth. I mean, you have nine there on your screens. Now let's see, this is a test. 2-2, two, two. who yeah. can take it away? Scores only up to 15. Will this be lessons learned from Akari, right? Or will it be F2 just pulling away? I mean, they've been in situations like this many times, many times in mostly all the conferences. So let's see if they can use that experience. Yeah, exactly. Petrogas Angels and the Gallery Tower High Risers are still to come on our third game of our triple hitter on a Tuesday. And also, Akari is new to this five set with F2. I mean, they've done a great job. We've seen improvements already, and this is just their opening game. Bank Paneda has... Uh, Justine, very steady defense. Very steady, yeah. They're li that libero lineup is, is pretty good for for Akari. But the off-season work, you've seen it now. The chemistry, both offensively and defensively, it's not a team that you can take lightly anymore yep. moving forward, regardless of what happens tonight. Okay, set number five, first to 15. And Jaja Maraginot will be the center of choice to start set five. She started. Yeah. This is the starting six no? yep. yeah. of Akari. Gonna start with it. Might as well end with it. In the meantime, for F2, you have really the bench players now playing in sets four and, and five. Coach Regina has found some magic with Jelena, Mars Alba, Manjoy Paron. But of course, they were, they are led by the 24 big points so far of Ivy Laxina. And this is actually the first six from the Invitational Conference. Mm. Mars Alba in the You're mix. right, you're right. You're right. Now, of course, in Genesee, uh, Andal. Marianda Andal has their replacement 
for the injured. Dominic Matandili Katindig. In the meantime, Jaja Maraginot with a... What a serve. Serve. Skirting the line. Talk about targeting. And now all of a sudden they're overloading that yep. area. Talking about F2. So where will Jaja go? Goes to the other side. For Ivy. Ruby Sieb at Pumalo. She gets it again. Set back again. Pablo this time over the blockers. Bang will set it up to Faith. Andal able to pick it up. Laxina over one blocker. Pineda will send it over to Tintin, who puts it away. 3 0 run to start the fifth for Akari. Tintin finding that hole in the block. Oh, yes. Right in between, no close. Good serving, too, by Jaja. Goes to Andal again. Tough set. Laxina rolls it. Great dive by Genesis. And they get a free ball, talking about F2. Majoy guides it to the other side and gets the point. Scraping that third contact. By the fingernails. Yep. <laughs> Let's go to Freddy Reyes to check in. We came here to win, Whoa. not to play. Very strong fighting words from Coach Jorge De Brito. And the Akari Chargers are definitely hearing his call. Now, some key adjustments from their huddle earlier. Hindi sila pwede tumigil, and they can't just watch F2 play. They also need to minimize their errors. Now, before the game started, Mitch Cobb told me that the Akari Chargers are tired of losing. Let's see if they'll be able to get their first win of the conference. And thank you again to all our fans tuning in. You can watch the games or stream the games rather on the Filipinas Live app. Download now for only 149 pesos a month. Back to you, Boom. Thank you very much, Franny. Yeah, those errors that you're talking about, nine of them in that fourth set. Now, no errors so far. Four points to one here in the fifth. See Ezra with that short running attack. You gotta maximize and establish your middles early. 13 points for her, Jamie, today. One of four players in double figures, and Trisha Genesis is on the verge with nine. Impressive yep. look for Akari. <laughs> Tindin on the other side, and I could not control it. Five, one. And remember, they have history. They've beat F2 before in a major, major upset. And if I remember correctly, that loss by F2 to Akari was the one that killed Akari, uh, F2's chances of advancing a couple of conferences ago. It was such a crucial loss for them after they beat Creamline in five sets. They use all their steam. Yeah, no Ubus. That was in the... Uh, the reinforced uh, conference. Mistake. Inside. 2 5. Maxina with 25. 10 over her previous career high. Look at that flick of the wrist, just right. Didn't want to challenge that anymore. Nice serve. Short serve. Chance ball for F2. Why not go back to her? Again. Not that time, though. Call a net touch. They're convinced that it was. See the See Ezra, ba? Ezra. Okay. Challenge at 5 2. It was hard to notice in that rally. Too fast? Yep. Don't know whether it's the ball or the fingers or the hand, but we'll find out. Let's listen in first. Mental toughness, guys, ha? Atin pa din. Mental toughness, guys, ha? Atin pa din. Mental toughness, guys, ha? Atin pa din. Mental toughness, guys, ha? 
kailangan natin mag-block. Matabantay lang na zero tempo. Ah, pahit, pahit, hindi. Pahit, hindi. Pahit, hindi. Puro naman. Let's drop. Wait, drop ball dito. Wait, saran nyo lang. Ate, paano ito? Nasa likod siya. Anong kunin mo, Tay? Nasa likod kita. Bukunin mo, Long. Bubuksan ko ba? Or sarado ko? Sige, buksan mo. Sige. What are you up to this day? Five? Or it depends? It depends because you know the guys are spiking for us. If this one is spiking for us. Okay. We'll let the guys here. So for that one, it's one in Amelia. When Ivy was there, she was using them. Now, I'll put the guy on the phone. You can do up. Hard, hard, hard. Both coaches using the opportunity for instructions while we wait for the result of this net fault challenge, which is taking quite a while yep. here, here in this fifth set. Our first fifth set of the conference. Coach Regina appealing to the experience yes. of F2 that they've handled these situations many times before. Okay, finally, we get to it. Whoa! Grace! Did it Grace? No, according to them, no. Oh, their challenge is actually a net touch. What was the? What, sorry, what was the challenge? Net touch. No, so what? By, what yeah, what? What? Bobby Selsa talking to the captain, Abby. Ano ba? Ano? Yun nga, no net touch. Hindi dito. Net touch nga, no net touch. Wala nga eh. Yeah, they're saying that there is no net touch. Yun yung decision ng ano eh. Mas kita nila doon eh. Mas side definition yun doon. Hindi ka hindi ako mag-decide doon. Bobby Celso referring to, of course, the technical committee which decides the challenge. They have the monitors here beside us. Coach Regina's kind of let go of it already. She wants to move on. But it will be point now for Akari. 6-2. We play on. They've got to focus, talking about F2. But so does Akari here. De La Cruz denies Trisha Genesis. The set was a little too tight by Maraguino, yeah. but De La Cruz was there. One on one, yeah. Top. You see the hand of Trisha already on the right side. Could not get the proper form on that. So the clarification, okay, I hear what the technical... Nakas, that's why I was asking you. On screen, it said block touch. Uh, they were challenging net touch. The technical committee here is saying that they made a mistake in terms of what they put yes. on the screen, which was block touch, but actually they were reviewing a net touch challenge. And the decision was there was no net touch. So kaya medyo nagulat din yung, yung F2 run. In the meantime, this lead is down to two. Two straight points for F2 after that whole commotion. Three straight points. This is where Coach Regine was talking about the experience in the crucial matches, especially in fifth setters. That's right. Said this earlier, Akari is new to being in five sets. I mean, the timing of Justine's misreceive. Mm, Her crucial. first yeah. misreceive. Yeah, you're right. What a serve by Ivy. Over. Oh, great instincts there and reflexes by Alba. Chance here for Jaja. She reverses to Dindin. Still alive, still playable. Open. And a scrape by Abby Marano. 
She accepts. Moving on from that. 7-5. Michelle Cobb comes in. Ellie Soyud comes in for Akari. Michelle will serve. Soyud will come in for Jaja. Crucial substitution. Crucial point of the match. Fifth set, 7-5. Captain. Janina asking for it, doesn't get it. Goes to Abby. Cobb will go to Ellie. Soyud. Ivy able to dig. Dela Cruz flies in. Rejected. Alba. And a free ball for Akari with a two point lead. Ooh, that's tight. But it works. It worked. It worked for Michelle Cobb. The dig was two on the net, but she was able, she managed. To reverse yeah. set that. Yeah, and she. That's tricky. Yeah, look at how she contorts also, yep. Jamie. Alba was there, but it bounces out. 8 5, halfway through. Set 5. Ivy. Was it overreach? Yep. Coach Jorge was not running not here on the sideline. And Coach Regine will call a timeout. Lead is back to four. by Akari to give them a four-point lead. Asila and Fajardo will come in. Alba and Laxina. They're going to be an offense. And you you know Ivy's going to come back on the next rotation as she gets in front. Especially after 25 points. New career high. Dal receiving. Jolina on the opposite. That touch, that touch by Fifi. The timing of these airs. She crucial. didn't even know, yeah. Challenge. But they're gonna challenge it. Might as well. Can take that to the next match. This one, a crucial one. At 9-5. Remember that? Time is now. Five points. Cover kami ah. Cover kami. Walang kapalo sa kamay. Sa shingers ha. Dahil ikaw sa una. Cover up. Iwan ka sa lipa. Ako niligaw ko sa iyo. Sabihin mo kung kukuha ka na lang. Sa lahat ha. Walang makakay. Hey, walang mag-relax. Walang mag-relax. Okay. Pagkain ka. On the turnaround, oh there, yeah, on the touch. come down. Good eye. That is sharp for coach, uh, for referee Bobby Celso, while she was twisting down. Yep. Good eye. Yeah. Six will be serving nine. Yeah. Nina De La Cruz. Serve. What an angle. Sawyer, Pablo, De La Cruz from behind. The chase by Genesis. Calf. Cobb. Back to Ellie. 
Fajardo keeps it alive. Casilag will tip it over. Confusion. Off speed, and they got fooled by Trisha Genesis's fake. Using her smarts, ending that rally on a high note. I mean, it's the approach. Full approach. Last minute decision going for that drop ball. She saw that hole in the defense. Five players in double figures for Akari, Jamie, including her with 12. Genesis, I mean. What an effort by Akari here. So you joins the party. Second point for her. And a huge five point lead. Ellie Soyu, she was taken out previously during this match because she had too many unforced errors spiking in the net, but I mean, the timing of the kill is beneficial for Akari. Miss received! Genesis with an ace! And her 13th point of the match! It's Genesis, Madrigal, Sharma, Manabat and Nisperos all double figures. Team effort. I'm looking at Faith Nisperos and the net telling the girls, hindi patapos. 12 6. Again, till the game is over. 12 6. Pablo. Cobb wow. keeps it alive with a one handed oh. dig. It's out! 13 6. Cobb with that defense. I mean, the quick reaction. He can form the one handed dig. She did, she that did. is not the easiest Oh, to get. wow, yeah, a little dolphin dive there. Laxina is back. They need her in. Oh, boy, do they. 13 6. Patricia has been serving well. Pablo with the approach, cross. Cobb opens up to Faith. CJ was there and up for it. Sharma sends it back and they have a chance to attack here. Cobb. That was there. That was there. Could not keep it in play. 13-7. Quick attack. Block was late by Fifi Sharma. One of the toughest points for Akari to get those last two points of a match in a fifth set against a veteran laden F2 team. Much improved composure on the side of Akari. Not as emotional as before, quick to recover from mistakes. Six, make that seven, serving 13. Not a great serve by Shola. Faith, that bounces in! Now that one was inside. It's not over till it's over. F2 with a chase here. They've got some work to do. But it starts with one point, one point. They get two straight. Miss received again. Faith has to ad lib. A chance to counter here for the girls in yellow. Ho -ho! Pass point denied. Match point, Akari. Fifi Sharma. Take a look at this buck. Alvarez could not cover that. Her fifth. She has match point in her hands, making her professional debut. Oh! And a service ace! What a debut for her! And what a win 
by the Akari franchise. Absolutely their biggest win of their very young history. And a much deserved one, Jamie. 13 points for Genesis, 14 for Madrigal, 13 for Sharma, 19 for Manabat, 18 for Nesperos. Spread across the team. Now, the maturity, the growth, lessons learned. We were questioning whether they could execute this match in five sets. We've established that they could execute a set, but winning this game will boost their confidence, and teams should not take them lightly. Definitely not. Trisha Genesis, your best player. It was tough to choose today, yep, wasn't it, it Jamie? Was. With all of those performances, but... She gets the nod for the player of the match of this first five-setter. Akari wins it against F2. For Franny Reyes and Jamie LaVittoria, my name is Boom Gonzalez. That is only the second of our triple header today. Coming up, Petrogas Angels, Gallery Tower High Risers, the PVL on Filipinas Live. Pinintay ko tong time na to. Kilala nyo na din kami. Um, familiar faces and may mga magka-comeback. Ang gusto lang namin maipakita is yung passion namin sa volleyball. Actually, nakaka-pressure talaga yung mangyayari. Step by step eh. Hindi kami pwede mag-shortcut.